Damn. That is insane. Yeah, the hail, it was so bad. Austin's neighbors, who are from Pennsylvania, helped him shovel oh. his driveway. <laughs> you see that fog as a result yeah, of hail it? hail fog. Rock Hill resident Austin Jefferson joins us now on Weather Command. Austin, uh, you were in the middle of a catering, of catering a wedding, from what I understood, when it got wild. And I think hearing the sound speaks for itself. Thank you for taking the time. Explain what happened. And if true, some of the reports we've heard, that the hail started off smaller, but then it just kept growing? Yes, most definitely. Thank you, of course. Good morning as well for having me for this opportunity. Uh, but yes, it was a crazy uh, ordeal that I've never experienced. Of course, I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina. So this type of weather is not something that we get on a regular. Uh, but I am, of course, a caterer here in uh, Rock Hill. And uh, the hail just became, we thought it was going to be a little bit of rain. Uh, I was catering a wedding that was supposed to start at 5 o'clock when I got home uh, to grab some major supplies for the event. What I thought would be a quick thunderstorm quickly turned into a hailstorm. Mm. And as I was telling every one of my friends, all hell broke loose, literally. <laughs> um, <laughs> it started off as what I, yeah, what I thought was small little pellets of hell, which I'm like, okay, we, like, we can make it through that, which quickly turned into golf ball size hell. Uh, my garage was actually open because I was trying to rush and pack up my supplies to beat the rain. And I had to literally force my garage door down um, to be able to kind of guard myself from, from the hill that was coming through. So, man, Austin. So, uh, my, uh, my wife is originally from there. She's from Fort Mill right there. Did you see any damage okay. outside of Rock Hill, or was it just confined to that one city? It's up by the I-77. It was mainly in Rock Hill. So, uh, the, of course, we have the south side of Rock Hill, which is the part that I stay on. Mm -hmm. um, our side was hit the worst. Um, on the other side, which is about probably 15 minutes away, they just had some rain, a little bit of thunder, and a little bit of light hail. Gotcha. Uh, but the south side really was impacted the worst. Mm -hmm. So we had the, the grunt of it. And tell me about this wedding. I don't know. They say if it rains on a wedding day, yeah. it's good luck, right? I don't know about giant hail, maybe even record hail. Um, to, so you were catering. You're trying to sort through the hail situation. You had to shovel a driveway. How did yes. every did everything go on okay here? <laughs> Were there some issues? It did. So I, I was uh, I have an amazing team, um, and everything actually went over seamlessly. Um, they probably didn't realize that I was impacted during the storm. Um, it took me about an hour. It did push me back a little bit of time, but luckily I was ahead of schedule that day, Good. so nothing um, kind of went off of regular source. But I had to stop what I was doing um, to literally shovel um, the hail off of the driveway to have a clear path to my truck. Uh, to then get things loaded up. But the worst part for me was my entire windshield was cracked oh. across from uh, left to right. So here I am, and I'm, I'm a very independent person. Uh, my business name is Jenny Mae Southern Cuisine, which is an honor of my grandmother. So she's always taught me, no matter what obstacles come your way, always you know hold your head up high and tunnel through it. So I was driving as slow as I could. There were trees down through the main uh, road uh, to get to my house. So. Uh, I just did what I had to do to get that catering uh, delivered to them so they could have a wonderful wedding ceremony. The, the, work, the work must go on, the show must go on, mm -hmm. and, in, and in your case, you made it happen. I impressive and glad that you were able to uh, share that experience with us. Um, and real quickly, because we're out of time, Austin, was that hail around through Sunday? Was there still some on the ground, or, or did it all melt away by the evening? So I still have some. I went to my house last night to make sure there was no further damage. There's still some, especially by that garage Amazing. area, not direct sunlight. Wow. Yeah. I can't. So, I it's can't, starting to melt slowly. I can't imagine that. Yeah. And you had it accumulate. You had that hail fog, which is also a rare phenomenon mm -hmm. for it to occur. We appreciate yeah. uh, you sharing your experience. Rock Hill, South Carolina resident Austin Jefferson, thanks for being with us here on Weather Command.